Well guys, welcome back to another episode here of Slime and Slay Outdoors. It is a beautiful spring day here in northern Wisconsin. As you can tell, we still have a good couple feet of snow, but uh, it is supposed to be warming up here this week into the 70s, and uh, I am looking forward to that. Musky fishing is right around the corner. Today I'm going to be running down through my rod and reel combos that I use. I get a lot of comments and questions what I use for musky fishing, so I'm going to run down every rod and reel combo that I use for musky fishing and I'm also going to be showing a rod and reel combo that I would recommend if just starting out in musky fishing. So let's jump right into this and I'll show the lures that I use with it and uh, why I use this rod and reel combo. Well guys, jumping into my first rod and reel combo, this rod and reel combo I use probably 80% of the time um, because most of the time I'm fishing by myself and this rod and reel combo handles Pretty much these lures only for me and that is top water any pretty much style this is just a fat bastard top water um, to a showgirl model in size double eights and into any smaller size bucktails um, from 500 to six uh, uh, fluted sevens fluted eights all that kind of good stuff here so this rod and reel combo is an eight foot um medium heavy rod from St. Croix in the Legend Tournament. I know they came up with new Legend Tournaments this year, but this is an older model of the Legend Tournament. And I love eight foot rods for one reason. Uh, that is because I fish most of the time by myself. And if you watch a lot of other videos out there, a lot of people are using nine, nine and a halfs, which are great for figure eighting, casting, all that kind of good stuff. But eight foot still gets the job done great for me. Um, yes, I have to work a little bit harder on my figure eights compared to the nine foot rods. But uh, these eight foot rods are great fishing by myself because for one reason, I am never reaching way up here and trying to like go like this and net fish, all that kind of good stuff. This I pretty much can leave my hand on the reel, just kind of lift up and scoop. So that is why I love eight foot rods and the medium heavy action is great for these style baits. Don't need extra heavy or anything like that. Just love the medium heavy. And um, I pair this rod up with a Abu Garcia Revo Toro Beast. I still got to get some fresh line on it for this year. In the 6.2 to 1 gear ratio. This 6.2 is not too fast and not too slow. It is just the perfect speed for these top waters and bucktails. I love kind of the, why I kind of picked this reel, the 6.2 um, in Garcia, is because I kind of like actually fishing. It's just a preference for me. The double paddles not a big crank handle I'm not really having to crank these lures in it's just nice and easy so I kind of like the smaller uh, the, the double paddles for that but again 6.2 and a Revo Toro Beast so um, that is what I use for these baits in this combination again 80% of the time so let's jump into rod and reel combo number two all right guys jumping into rod and reel cumber rod and reel combo number two that is a 7 foot 10 heavy action rod from Elk River Rods up in Phillips, Wisconsin. I am from the Northwoods, so I like to support some of the local companies up here. And Elk River Rods, I love this 7 foot 10 rod. Why I love it is because I love throwing bobby baits. On tougher days, bobbies handle this rod great. Little small twitch baits here by Big Guy Baits. Even some swim baits, swimming dog by Muskie's Innovations, these smaller bulldogs in the regular model, and uh, last but not least, even some of these gliders. So, um, yes, you could use it on a bucktail topwater, but I love the heavy action for these little bit um, jerk style baits, um, pull and rip style, and uh, 7 foot 10 heavy action gives me that little bit better backbone for jerking these baits, and uh, I pair that up with a 6.3. Daiwa Lexa 400. A um, little bit quicker pickup than the 6.2. You could even go up to 7.1. I got the power knobs, so be able to give me those quick rips. And uh, like I said, I love the 7 foot 10 fishing by myself. Gives me those quick snaps that I need for getting that glider to go back and forth. Quick hard rips for bobbies and, uh, and uh, even those medusas. So Ron Reel combo number two, again, can't go wrong with the Daiwa Alexa 400 6.3, even go up to 7.1, and I love the heavy style rods for these kind of baits. So let's jump into my la or my rod and reel combo number three. Well, guys, jumping into rod and reel combo number three, this rod and reel combo I really only use for 
uh, this style baits, and that is giant rubber. This is the Magnum style Pro, Pro Dog from Muskie's Innovations. Um, you, this rod and reel combo pretty much uses specifically for just giant rubber. Husky Medusas, these um, even up to Pounders, and the Magnum Pro Dogs. Um, you could still use it for even smaller uh, rubber, but I pretty much use this rod and reel combo just for big giant rubber fishing, probably mostly fall, late summer, those kind of events. Um, this rod and reel combo is from Musky, uh, the Musky Mojo series from St. Croix, and this is the 8 foot 6 extra extra heavy rod here. I love the extra extra heavy for handling these big rubber. That's why I'm saying you could still use it on the regular style Bulldogs, um, regular mini Medusas, but uh, you, it, it doesn't need the backbone support it from these big rubber baits. I love the eight foot six, being able to cast these uh, bigger rubber um, out there, but it also still gives me the um, ability still to be able to net by myself if I'm in that case. Um, not super long and I pair that up with a Daiwa Lexa or Daiwa Pro Rex 400 in the 7.1 uh, 7.1 gear ratio and why I like this 7.1 for fishing big rubber is because it gives that extra quick pickup I think this has a 37 and a half inches per crank so this picks up the line a lot quicker than the 6.1s and 6.3s so that is why I pick a 7.1 because when you're ripping that big rubber, you don't want a lot of slack to be able to quick reel back down because the fish like to hit it when that happens. So um, this rod and reel combo doesn't get used a lot other than mostly again late fall, late summer. If anything of these big rubber bites are going on, this is where I focus on that is the extra, extra heavy rod from St. Croix in the 8 foot 6 length in a 7.1 gear ratio in the Pro Rex 400. So, all right, let's jump into rod and reel combo number four. All right, guys, jumping into my fourth rod and reel combo. Again, you can tell the last, the number three combo is pretty much only big rubber, and this rod and reel combo focuses just on strictly big blades. Um, if I'm using size 12, and or size 10 in the cowgirl models again these are all homemade but these are size 10 blades um, so compared to a cowgirl um, this is what this rod and reel combo is used for um, it is a again eight foot six this is in the elk river style rod or elk river model and it is a extra heavy not extra extra heavy but just extra heavy um, still has that great backbone. Don't need the extra extra heavy for these big blades. Could even get away with just a, a heavy rod, but I like the extra heavy and uh, an eight foot six being able to throw those bigger um, blades out there farther seems to help and great figure eight action. And I pair that up with again another Daiwa Pro Rex 400, but instead of a faster gear ratio, I pair this up with a 5.3 gear to, gear to one ratio. Why I pair it up with a 5.3 is because these bigger blades pull harder. The higher the uh, gear ratio, the harder it is going to pull. It sucks being able to go a little bit down in gear ratio, but this does not wear me out at all, this 5.3. With the big power knob again, I'm able to really pull these blades all day long. doesn't give me as much fatigue. Higher you go, yes, you're going to be able to burn the blades faster, but... Um, I love the 5.3 to be able to handle these big blades so I'm not getting wear and tear all day on my body. So this rod and reel combo really is again just for big blades. Previous one was just big rubber. And uh, the last one here we're going to be talking about is my fifth rod and reel combo and that is just for sucker fishing So and trolling. So let's jump into that next. Alright, jumping into my last rod and reel combination that i use but again only used for trolling and sucker fishing and that is a elk river eight foot heavy musky trolling and live bait rod so it really has that all built right into it i'm um, not sure everything that built into this but uh, this is specifically just for trolling and sucker fishing having those hard rips and all that kind of stuff this rod handles that great only used again trolling and sucker fishing so not used a lot for me and uh, I'm not actually sure the model of this reel. I just know it's a Daiwa line counter reel. And this has just a great, uh, you just kind of want to find a, a reel that has a great clicker. And as you can tell, this one's nice and loud. So I just pair that up with these um, trolling and live bait uh, rod here from Elk River Rods. So 
that's pretty much all that. And uh, now I'm gonna jump into the beginning musky rod and reel combination that I would use if I was just starting out musky fishing. All right guys, last but not least, this is for the beginning musky anglers. Um, what I would recommend if I was only to get one rod and reel combo to get started into musky fishing to be able to handle pretty much all the baits um, out there in the market today, uh, that is a eight foot, I have the St. Croix Premier Rod. It is a great budget rod. Anything in just an eight foot rod, if you can find, with heavy action. Not medium heavy, not extra heavy, but just a straight heavy rod. That will get away with topwater bucktail. Still is great, and you can still throw up some of that rubber uh, to the regular size, to maybe even that Pro uh, uh, Magnum Pro Dogs. It still handles it, still can handle the cowgirls. Handles great the twitch baits and glide baits, because um, that's what I want to use as the heavy for that. But again, it still does everything you pretty much need. So an eight foot rod and about an eight foot or eight foot rod in the heavy action. And uh, what I would pair that up with to be able to kind of handle all the gear ratios, um, you kind of want a little bit quicker pickup for those gliders and twitch baits. And uh, that's where I would pair this up with the Lexa 400 series and the 6.3 to one gear ratio. This reel still handles the, the, the bucktails and topwaters great. Um, just have to maybe slow it down just a smidge if you're burning it. Um, but this still has the great pickup for the gliders and bobbies and all those other sorts, Suix, all those other pull pause baits. So this is what I would pair up with. Um, really, this will pretty much do everything you need it to do. Just hard to throw the big giant rubbers and um, the, the bucktails of the big cowgirls will be a little bit harder to pull with, maybe a little bit more fatigue, but handles the showgirl models, single blades, all that kind of stuff. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my Ron Reel combos. So I'm pretty much using four combinations, um, pretty much two of them all the time, and the other two are pretty much used for specific applications and, and big blades and big rubber. And uh, then I have my sucker rod as well and trolling rod for fall or summer trolling or anything like that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this answers a lot of questions and uh, hopefully this helps you get uh, the right, right rod and reel combo that you're looking for for specific baits that you need to pair it up with. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode.